Hello, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It's currently 9.59pm on Monday, December 20th in New York City, meaning one minute until the Tuesday crosswords. Uh, on yesterday's leaderboard, looks like we had a three-way tie for first, but actually we had Rudwick in 19 seconds. Then we had the PB Geckner, me, and the Glorp in 20 seconds, uh, followed by the no to Nomad. That's the entire crew under 30. Then we had Murray Unicorn, Aero Tangos, Stickers, Cape God, Andrew Cabo had emoji, Kimball, Kefa Sventa, Brave Stanley, Hoopla, Bill Boris, Namgo, Marks, Justin, and Tarotuna, and Marina, Jay Wu, Lil Sun, Phil, Panda Gucci, and A plus B under one minute. That's a huge crew there. We had Ruth Ann, B17, Panda Doggy, and Jay. All right. Well, it's now 10 o'clock in New York City, meaning we should have some Tuesday crosswords. So here is your spoiler alert for the Tuesday mini. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. A job, a julep, on ice, a beats, a June, a Julia, inject. Oops. Juju, bad juju. Interesting. Right, so we've got, I think the theme here is these J's everywhere. This stair stack of J's. I thought that was actually pretty hard. Um, yeah. But anyway, now for the main event. That's the Tuesday Daily Grid, which is by Guillermo Giliolo today. Giliolo? Here is your spoiler alert. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. That's a Sar, Caesar dressing Toga, Scatter, uh, Atari, not sure. This is Kia, uh, not sure, maybe Injure? I don't know. Uh, maybe Shrapnel, actually? Uh, the Whitney, where is it? NYC? Crowning and Lawn Chaney? Best is yet to come. An inch auto, uh, I don't know. Um, jar, croon, an airy, Errol or Earl? It is injure. Kiss? Scars, I see. Nasal. Is it app here? Uh, stop on a dime somehow. Skiing and snowboarding. Winter sports. Um, fulfill completely. Sate. Robinson. This is grab. That's all it was. Et al. It is sate there. Loot. ETs. Uh, spools probably. Par, I think. Put the money on bets. This is guards or tackles. Uh, something. Work hard for probably earn. Maybe seek. Hari Krishna. Uh, Mel here. Building with a loft. This is ear. I think it's spelled par wrong. Display of mentalism. Spoon, ah, uh, bending spoon. I think that's what that is. Sight near an exit sign. Uh, okay. Uh, but something on top of the house. <laughs> oh gosh, this is Enos. So it's not bending. I think this is Enos. Oh, it's probably spoon bending. That's better. Uh, um, a stab here, D-bone, uh, sun, and spade, a uh, door here, baritone, I see, pesky plant is a weed, uh, not sure what that is, pods, maybe stash here, no, novel, Greek, 
uh, Elks here. This is Airs. Okay. Put into the pot. Subway stop. It's gonna be station, but I never know if it's an N. Tunes? It's not mice, right? It may give you visuals. ESP, maybe? Uh, spoil. That's LSD. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's anteed upon the house up. Uh, URL. Uh, some forest root? I don't know what that is. Splint. Whoops. Spline. First place. Eden. Sister. Kin. Menu. Oh, none. Okay. Meantime, that's what that is. Iron out. Okay. Stops dead? What is it? Is this the, a liar? Urges. Yens? Barn? Notedly? Whoops. Alright, spoon bending. So we've just got various bent spoons here. Interesting visuals, certainly. Interesting. Kind of wish there was more to it. I guess spoons can be bent in all of these ways. I guess this one's the interesting one, right? Because it's supposed to look like it's like a question mark shape. There's not really that much in the way of long stuff, right? It's winter sports, stops dead, and orris root. I guess meantime and shrapnel count as long stuff too. Yeah, I guess these spoons sort of do affect a lot of the grid. But I don't know, maybe I expect kind of a smoother product. Let's see, let's see. Yet two is a interesting partial. Notedly. Notedly. A noted increase in the crime rate. I don't know how ever how often I've ever an ly at the end of noted. So, uh, so for that reason, that, that fill was kind of hard. I was like, around here, I was some, somehow suspecting some kind of rebus for stops on a dime, like on a uh, and then dime here. Which would be an interesting rebus if you put coins in rebuses somehow. Coin slot or something as a revealer. I don't know. Uh, but it's a Tuesday, so that is probably a, a, a bad thought. Um, Fennec foxes are cute, so I guess we should Google them. Wow, the camera is real dark. I, uh, I need to work on the lighting <laughs> in this room at home. Yeah, look at those ears. Nice clue on ear, because it makes you think about Fennec foxes. Hare Krishna. Yeah, they're mice, right? Which is initially what I thought it might be. Nair, could this Nair do well? Yeah, well, PTs is a thing that I, I never remember what they are when I see it in a harder crossword, uh, where the, you know, the crosses are, are more difficult. But I had enough crosses today that I didn't need to remember. Nice clue on Toga. This has got to be Jackie Robinson, right? I don't know much about MLB history. I'm not really a big MLB stat head or anything. Shout out to Bald Online, though, who is. Shout out to Bennett, who, who hates the MLB. Oh, doesn't hate it. Yep. Jackie Robinson was the first 
Rookie of the Year. Interesting fact about him. The shrapnel is interesting. That was NYC. As well as it was Lon Chaney. That's right tackles. Extraterrestrials. Jack Parr. Which I spelled wrong, but... The Tonight Show from 57 to 62. But I sort of agree that um, probably all the Tonight Show hosts are crossworthy. What I don't agree with is that every SNL member ever is crossworthy. Um, Steve Allen, Jack Parr, Johnny Carson, Jay Leno, Conan O'Brien, and Jimmy Fallon. It's not all that many. <laughs> yeah, right, what is Oris Root? That seems like a wordless word to me. It had the common name of Queen Elizabeth Root. Oh, we can eat Oris Root. Its taste is said to be indistinguishable from raspberry. That's interesting. Never heard of Oris Root before. I guess we should look up Frida Kahlo's The Dream to see if I recognize it. Bed makes sense though. Whoops, spelled Frida Kahlo wrong. This does look familiar. I want a close up. I'm looking on Pinterest now. There you go. Frida Kahlo, The Dream. In the meantime, in baritone. Yeah, that's just a piece of trivia. Up on the house top. Include us two words, interesting. I never know if it's STA or STN. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this puzzle could have been smoother given sort of the lack of super interesting long stuff. And it went a little slow, but I made some mistakes there. Uh, so I would say that's, uh, that was a little tough for Tuesday. Starting off the week a little bit tough on both Monday and Tuesday, in my opinion. Let me know what you thought. Uh, leaderboard for tomorrow, we've got Kefas Venta and Marx making early appearances. And on the secret leaderboard, we got Kimball in 28 seconds strong, sub 30 time as well. All right, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I will see you tomorrow for some Wednesday puzzles. See you then.